Hi, my name's Ben. I, I'm part of the support team here at Interface. And this is just a quick video uh, to explain how to integrate uh, WhatsApp uh, through Twilio um, into your Bitrix24. Um, so obviously most people know what WhatsApp is. Um, it allows you to, this whole thing allows you to connect uh, WhatsApp to your Bitrix24 and use it as a, a communication tool with your customers. Um, kind of like a, a chat bot of sorts. Uh, but with an agent at the other end of it. Um, naturally, um, Twilio already have their SMS uh, integrations onto uh, Bitrix, um, and we're going to look into how we're going to integrate um, WhatsApp onto Twilio. So the first thing you need to do is set up your Twilio account. Um, for this purpose of this video, we're going to skip that. I'm going to assume you've already got your Twilio account set up. So let's get right into it. And we're gonna create our first project. Navigate to your home kind of dashboard. Uh, this is the interface that you kind of see. Um, what we wanna do is select this uh, bottom at the top left. If you've already created your uh, pro not a project, you won't have to create one. Uh, but for our purposes, let's say we are creating our first project. So our project name is gonna be WhatsApp demo. Verify that. They will then need to set up a phone number, uh, and this is an actual phone number that you they need to contact you so you can set up your account. So I'm going to type it in and verify that. I should then receive a text. Now with the uh, project verified, um, we can just go through some of the messages. Uh, it's just kind of a setup, so we're just going to skip through it right quick uh, and go through it. So now that our project is set up, we can now get our new number. Uh, so in order to do that, as you can see, we've got a big red button right in the middle here. We collect, uh, click on that, um, and now you can either select the number that you're giving you, or you can search for a different one. Uh, for my um, for my purposes, this is perfectly fine. So I'm just going to choose this number, uh, press done, and now I have a number associated to my account. And now that I've got my um, number and my um, project set up, I can now um, navigate and find uh, the WhatsApp uh, feature. So what you want to press is the all products uh, uh, button. And then we're going to find the programmable SMS link. Click on that. Um, on the left-hand menu, you'll see WhatsApp uh, button uh, with the beta just underneath it. Click on that, and this will take us to our sandbox. Um, now, the sandbox is just a, a kind of a preliminary environment for development. So um, what this allows us to do is basically connect um, our number to, to, to WhatsApp, test it, make sure everything's okay. And once we're ready to go to production, then we can um, request to enable our Twilio number for WhatsApp. Um, so let's set up our uh, sandbox. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna send a message from WhatsApp. So with your WhatsApp connected, you wanna send a message as shown in Twilio console. And as you can see, as soon as I sent it, message being received, I can now move on to the second part. Um, <clears throat> as part of the uh, um, sandbox, you get a, a bit of a learning um, tutorial type of thing. Um, it allows you to go through um, the different types of uh, messages and templates that you can send using 
uh, Twilio's WhatsApp integration. Uh, you can explore this at your own time. I'm just going to skip right through it um, so we can show you how to uh, connect um, WhatsApp to your Bitrix. So configure your sandbox. So now that um, we finished the tutorial, we can now set up the sandbox for Bitrix. And the next thing we need from our Bitrix is our webhooks. So you want to navigate to your Bitrix, navigate to the contact center. In your contact center, you'll find a button for the WhatsApp. Press on that. Um, once you open it, you'll um, see a slider. Um, what you want to do, first thing you really want to do is you want to configure your open channel. And what your open channel is, is effectively uh, a chat channel or a way to kind of record um, incoming communications uh, from customers and, and the likes. Um, and, you know, that could be anywhere from Facebook to from Viber, Telegram, any kind of these mechanisms, live chat on your website, anything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to configure open channel number 18. Press on that. Um, I'm not going to get too much, too, too much detail in here. Uh, but effectively, what you want to do is before you set up your WhatsApp uh, on, on here, you want to make sure that all the configurations and all the settings uh, for the queue, uh, sorry, for the open channel are matching what you expect. So, for example, if you've got multiple people in the queue uh, or is it just the individual, um, would you like to verify the client information in your uh, CRM, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to leave that to you. Um, and what you want to do now is you want to click the connect button. Once you click on that, you will be you'll notice that you've got a webhook link here in this box. And this is the webhook link that we want to copy into our Twilio uh, console um, and sandbox in order to test and connect uh, um, WhatsApp to your uh, account. So now that we're back here, we've copied our webhook. We can now paste these uh, values into these two boxes here. Uh, and what this was basically allow us to do is um, set up the connection between Twilio and uh, our Bitrix installation. And once this is done, we can press save. Um, sometimes uh, the values don't save on the first time. If you refresh and just double check that the values are correct, And as you can see, they are there. And now what we want to do is we want to navigate back to our um, dashboard. And now that we've set up the webhooks, we have one more final thing to do, uh, configuring Bitrix side. So as I already went through, we've configured our open channel. Now we can connect the sandbox to Bitrix. And in order to do that, what we want to do is we want to navigate back to our dashboard um, and this is our um, project dashboard that we want. And you'll notice that we have our account SID and authentication code, uh, token, sorry. And uh, these are exactly the things that you need to fill in here. So the account SID, you can copy from here, paste it in here. The authentication code, same again, copy and paste it. And then finally, if we just navigate back to our programmable SMS and onto WhatsApp. Because this is already configured, you can see our number for the sandbox is this number right here. So we can copy this number and paste it in our account information. Finally, last thing you want to do is print collect. And now that that's connected, we can now test it. So um, in order to do that, we're just going to pop back onto our WhatsApp. Hello, this is a test message. We should now be able to navigate back to our Bitrix. And after a little bit of, a little bit of time, I have now received my message from my guest. I can reply to that person. Hello, and welcome to the demo. 
And as you can see, Max Smith admin has replied to me and I can see their messages. Uh, and that's how you connect Bitrix to uh, WhatsApp to Bitrix. Once you've gone through uh, your period of testing WhatsApp and making sure that you've got it connected to your system and you've gone through all the development, created all the templates that you need for your WhatsApp, um, now you're ready to move on to production and you want to actually get your own number. What you want to do, uh, you want to navigate to your Twilio console. Um, you want to get the number that you want to authorize. So in our case, I know it's this number over here. Um, and you want to find, navigate to the request to enable your Twilio numbers for WhatsApp. Now the form is fairly straightforward. There's some information that you do uh, require uh, from it. Um, of course, most of this is your personal information um, and your account information for Twilio, as well as your Facebook account. Um, and all you have to do is submit this, uh, well, fill this form in, um, just read any of the kind of guidelines that they've got, um, making sure that obviously you follow all their, their policies and everything, and submit it. Um, and the final thing, how to disable. Um, of course, if you no longer want WhatsApp integrated into your site, uh, it's really quite simple. You navigate back to your contact center and to the open uh, to the WhatsApp and the open channel that you've configured WhatsApp to. Because if I was to select a different open channel, uh, as you can see, WhatsApp is not configured for that. So navigate to your um, uh, to the WhatsApp and the open channel. And you'll find a button saying disconnect just click on that press ok and um whatsapp is now disconnected from your system if i was to close that as you can see no longer ticked to indicate that i've got the connection and what's uh, whatsapp is now disabled on my system so i hope you found this video very helpful and um thank you very much